Hello everybody, my name is Damien Fitzpatrick and uh, I'm the module convener for the LS3 LST course which is teaching the language skills. Now this course is offered in spring term and a prerequisite for this course is the LS2 CIE which is core issues in English language teaching. And this course is ideal for those who are thinking about teaching English in international contexts. Now the module description um, we're really looking at uh, the processes involved in the development of the four language skills and these are listening, speaking, reading and writing. We're looking at effective methods of teaching in these skills, in particular an EFL which is English as a foreign language and ESL which is English as a second language context. Now it's, these are skill, this is a skill based approach but at the same time we're also looking at an integrated skills approach and by this we mean you can't really have uh, just a listening class, there's always other skills going on. So for example if you have a reading class you would expect your students to be able to write about it, write about the reading or speak about the reading later so it's a combination of the skills. So this is an integrated skills approach. Now the learning outcomes, the four accessible learning outcomes. Um, the first one is describe description so we're looking at the key theories and processes in the development of language skills. So here we want to know do you know what these theories are do you, are you aware of the terminology involved and so on. The next one is the application of these ideas and theories into methods of teaching the four skills. So how can these things that we've learned in the class be turned into methods of teaching? And then it's evaluation. So here we're looking at the teaching materials so we look at some of the materials where they focus on one particular skill and then we actually evaluate them and see how those skills work, how those materials work. And the last one is a synthesis and here we ask you to kind of look at different research findings from some of the class readings, the lectures and so on and put them together somehow. How do they kind of link? How are they kind of weave woven together? Now uh, we have three, generally three different learning environments. The first one is more lecture style but usually this is very very interactive. We've got lots of different class activities and then to reflect the ELT context we've got lots of group work and lots of pair work as well. Now the key text is uh, using Douglas Brown's book, uh, Douglas Brown and Hikun Lee, uh, Teaching by Principles. Um, they've got sections on teaching the, the, the language skills. But there'll be lots of other texts as well, and we've got lots of videos that we can look at as well that discuss some of the issues connected to the skills. Now the assessment. There are two parts. The first one, which is due at the end of spring, is worth 40%, and uh, this is between 1,500 and 2,000 words. And here's the idea of synthesizing and what we mean by this is we give you three texts that are connected to uh, teaching of the language skills, so listening or speaking. We ask you then to find another text that's connected to those three uh, texts and we want you then to kind of bring them all together. What do they mean? How are they different? How are they similar? What weaknesses or strengths do you see in them? So that's this critical thinking and synthesizing aspect of it. The second assignment is worth 60% and it's slightly longer so it's between 2,000 and 2,500 words and this one's due at the beginning of summer term. And here what we want you to do is to apply and evaluate some of the knowledge that you've, you've uh, learnt over the term. In particular we want you to organise a learning practice or a, a learning plan, a lesson plan based on one of the skills. So for example you choose speaking skills, you want to focus on one aspect of speaking skills so maybe pronunciation or fluency or accuracy how would you organize uh, a lesson plan for that? And then the second part, and really the main part of this assignment, is why have you done it like that? So you need to kind of explain the rationale of your choices using some of the readings, uh, the beliefs and the theories and so on. So they're the two uh, forms of assessment for the class. Now if you have any questions about the class, feel free to email me. Uh, my email is here on the screen. Thank you very much for listening.